Breaking my back just to grind this game If only modding was a thing Stupid Quay Well, the spam attack is back Lord help me attack I thought this was easy But it looks like I'm even more of a scrub now, Who's gonna help me? I've got potential As long as I keep the spam alive Spam is here. I said, hold that bitch, that please. I only find her now. But all I wanna tell her is p p p bam attack. Lord help me attack. I thought this was easy, but it looks like I'm even more of a scrub. But who's gonna help me? I've got potential. Sing it with me I'm gonna hold that I'm gonna bitch that I'm gonna minor that I'm gonna sp -p -p bam attack Welcome my friends Hopefully you enjoyed that video Yes, get your hog shirt Yes indeed, the spam attack is real I have the link in the description You can buy this, I'd hog that shirt Hopefully, well, I'm going to teach you some stuff about um, spamming or, or, or using miners. Now, a couple of different ways. Now, the first one, I'm going to do it a proper way, how you kind of should hit miners. And the first go round, we are actually going to let the king and queen, what you want to do is funnel the miners into the core. So the biggest thing about this is making sure that everything paths to the center. Now, will miners always get a three star? No, one, these are only max two. These aren't even, I mean, level two, they're not even max miners. So we'll have to see what the update's all about. Um, but I'm gonna bring in the miners now. And here, I'm just gonna kind of spam them in. Maybe I'll uh, put a couple, uh, I'll put a couple over here, put some more there, and hopefully that will get the job done. Now, as the clan castle comes out, you need to make sure that you are putting down the heal spell or otherwise you are going to get in a load of trouble uh and i'm going to let's put another one there oh my goodness see sometimes these bases you just don't know man miners are quite tricky you really have to keep an eye out for where they are on the map um and put the spells down accordingly because uh, it looks like my miners are getting hit hard. So I'm going to actually do in some back-end hogs. And I did the back-end hogs on purpose. I don't know. I'm playing around with the back-end hogs. Does it make a difference on this? Um, we'll find out. I don't know if it does. But see, look. No miners up here at 6 o'clock or 12 o'clock side. A bunch of them shifted down to the south. So even with the funnel... Even with the funnel, was not able to get as much as I thought I would. Now, it's very interesting how that works. Now, okay, again, we, we, they'll get a little bit more, but we'll end it there. The island for infernals definitely mess up miners. Now, what can you stop miners in this meta? Well, I think putting gold storages around infernos helps. Kind of creating a pathway so they will not go to the inferno at, as possible. Putting gold storage or, or just storages in general uh, around the wizard towers to protect the wizard towers so they'll kill the miners. Okay, we're going to hit this again. Now, what are you looking for? Is this a good miner base? Well, I don't know. I don't think I really don't like this as a miner base. There's a couple of reasons why. Inferno is kind of tucked away uh, around some wizard towers. That's going to be very difficult for the miners. And you also have some storages inside the base. So what that means is uh, miners are going to get slowed down there. Now, could this happen? Now, let's just see if it matters if we put everything just right here, right in the core. Let's just do everything. Forget about the funnel. And let's just go all, maybe a couple on the sides. I and mean, that's about it. But we're just going to go ham right in the center and see kind of what happens. Unfortunately, the queen got some hit points on her. And we are going to find out. Let's put a heal spell down. We're going to need another heal spell, it looks like, right over here. And should we do the Inferno or wait for the back end? Let's wait for the back end. Let's see what happens. Uh, and try to hopefully get down these bases. I don't know. It does not look good. Miners are just struggling over here. Look at this. So many defenses on the miners and they spread around. Again, even worse. This is just flat out terrible. So again, not every base should be minor. Now, why is this a tricky one? Well, 
one thing when when, when minors are all clumped together uh, and de- I mean sorry when defenses are clumped together you don't I don't think minors do a good job yes even if I didn't bring the hogs would it have mattered I would have had some extra minors uh, but even if I you look it, it's just not working there's too many defenses touching so more anti three bases I think do better. Um, for minors, so in in essence, non-compact bases. Now, can compact bases be three-starred? Yes, of course. Uh, but um, I think minors do well when the defenses are kind of spread out, so they're not taking all the brunt all at once. Does that make sense? So, say like right here when they were on the Inferno Tower. Look, look how many. Um, well, we'll come back to it. Look how many defenses. Look how many defenses were around this Inferno. Look at this. So we're pausing. Look at it. While they are miners under, they got two wizard towers. They got expos. They got the C uh, queen. They got another expo and almost a third expo, a bomb tower uh, and another archer. So it's just so much power that I, I don't think they can handle it. So if say imagine these were all spread out, the miners aren't taking as much damage. Does it make sense? So kind of look for that I, again. Now my thoughts about the spam attack. I got 19 hours to my level three. I do not like the spam attack. Uh, I do not like the spam attack at all. And, and the reason I don't, we'll get into it right now, I guess. Supercell does spam meta because it helps the average pl- player feel better about themselves. So if you just mass miner as many 10s as you want, or as, yeah, or even 11s, eventually you'll get a three star, you'll feel good about yourself. Or if not a three star, you get a high two star, and two stars win wars. So the spam attack is just so fundamental to the average well, they're not so the, the player who doesn't want to try to get better. So Supercell does it on purpose to make them feel good. So they'll play more, buy more gems, etc., share the game, etc., etc. And it's just not um, a, the best option. So let's say we come in on a different side. Does it matter the side that you come in? Well, let's say we come over in here. Uh, we come over here, we let the king and queen kind of do their thing, but at the same time, we're actually going to put in the miners right away. I want to put in the miners pretty quickly just to get these suckers going, and let's see if it matters on the side. Now, we're going to pop the king ability, and we're going to soon pop the queen ability, and right here, we're going to put that down. We're going to put, let's put our extra skeleton spell. Let's kind of help those miners out just a little bit and see if it makes a difference. And we've got hogs again on the back end. Uh, so, um, yeah, the, the, the spam minor attack, it doesn't take skill. You notice, I didn't. There, there's no skill involved uh, in this attack, but I'll probably get a two-star, right? I'll probably get a two-star, and, you know, that, that's pretty solid. As a, as a new, um, let's bring in some side hogs. Maybe that will help. I feel like the hogs do well. I've seen those do well on the back end, just helping out the miners as much as possible. Definitely need a heal spell up here towards this Tesla farm area. But again, look at this. It's a great two-star strategy. Is it going to get the three-star? No. These level two miners will not take down this base. However, this entry point was a little bit better. And the reason I think it was because uh, the king and queen, one, the king went to the en- my king. The enemy king went to my king. So that helped out uh, the tanking. It kind of helped out a bit. But still, I mean, kind of close, but not really. But yet again, solid attack, right? You can't get really better than that. I mean, we're going to end up probably with like 70%. So shy away from the spam attack. Now, say for instance, there's a couple, there's the the Bowler Witch attack, so that's spam. There's the Minor attack, which is the new meta. Uh, You know, Mass Hogs has always been there. I don't don't, don't call that a spam. It's, I mean, now that they've buffed the Hogs so much, yeah, I mean, you you might see that at Town Hall 11s and you see it at Town Hall 9s and things. But I'm talking about spam troops. So spam troops, miners work bad by themselves. Unlike hogs, work well by themselves. You know, you could bring ten hogs and do great. You can't do you, bringing ten miners serves no point. There's no point to bringing ten miners. Just like there's no point to bringing like one witch. What's one witch gonna do? You know, you you bring those in mass. So what that means, they're a spam unit. And I really need. I think supercell should steer away from it because you want to get players. To, to elevate their gameplay. And if you're a clan and you have players, certainly at Town Hall 9 using the Witch Walk attack or the Witch Slap as many people call it, steer them away from it. Try, make sure, like, can they hog and can they loom? Those are the two things. And if they can't do those things, don't let them use the Boulder Witch attack. Now, say they're really bad and that's all they can use in war. Okay, that's fine. I get it. 
make them practice in FCs. And if they're not willing to get better or willing to try to get better, kick them out. Now, that might seem pretty harsh, but you got to develop your skills as a town, as a, as a clash player in all spheres, using air and ground, non-spam. Uh, spam serves its purpose. Of course, I've used spam attacks. You've seen my videos. Yes, you use the meta. I'm not saying do not use the meta at all. Of course, use the meta. And look at this, my friends. I'm somewhere around here. Less, yes? Where am I? There I am. I'm in a war. Yes. Anyways, so make sure you get your teammates and clan mates to, um, to practice, man, to get better. Don't rely on the spam. Anyways, I hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know a lot of different things. I could talk a lot more. Actually, well, I'm going to ramble on. I know Brutal Raids and I, you, you probably know Brutal We're going to actually do a video here coming up soon talking about the new meta. And I think it's going to change. Um, Town Hall 10 is going to get, well, it's already hard, but there's going to be more 10v10. And there's, I think there's going to be a little more 11v11. Not totally. I think you'll find uh, the 10s trying to two-star the 11s. And the best 10s will still try to two-star the 11s. But it's going to separate the chaff from the wheat, you should say. So the, the tens that who are okay on hit-ups, they're going to be plucked um, down. They're going to start to have to learn to, to uh, 10 v 10. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Come back for more. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like it, share the music video. Yes, indeedy. And buy yourself a shirt. See you next time. Halo. Hey,